We're very familiar with the statistic, one in four people experience a mental health issue at some time in their lives. This exhibition asks why in a technologically and economically advanced society. It talks about how actually mental health is something that really affects everyone individually in a way. I think it's good, it's brought like a lot of people together to talk about mental health in a way that's different. It's not shying away from the subject. It was really significant for the fact to do this show. We've always been committed to an arts, health, technology agenda. And of course we need to address mental health as much as physical health. We had to do it. I quite like the multi-screen black dog video installation. Black dog. Groggy black dog. Down and down, shaggy black dog. Where will you take me? It is the idea about a mental health issue not being something that's taboo or something that one has to feel embarrassed about. It's about her trying to embrace the black dog, the darker side of her personality. You know, a lot of people's mental health problems can stem from childhood and I think it connects with that sort of maybe slightly wilder, creative, childish thing we have in us. People are invited to lie on this bed here and they attach a small pulse sensor to the earlobe. Changes in the heart rate speeding up and slowing down modulate the colours and move the patterns around in the screen. Amazing to be able to hear your own heartbeat live and see the colours sort of transmute out up there. It's just something quite magical. Some of the films depicted how lonely you can get even though you have thousand friends on Facebook, Twitter, we are having less of human interaction and more of a digital interaction. This is a designer or utopian model of what a mental health hospital could be like. It creates a space for people to think about it and consider mental health in a different way. So instead of designing hospitals that look like hospitals for treating people as if they've got illnesses, we're thinking creatively about how to help people have a more happy and functioning life, and I think that's brilliant. A piece of work we've done called States of Mind, it allows people to create very abstract objects in response to the question, what does your mental health look like? I felt a lot calmer once I'd uh, got rid of all the jagged edges. Probably the most notable thing is the ceiling, which is filled with a moving image piece. You can actually distort the image yourself by turning the, the sculpture and have, I suppose, quite a unique individualised experience of the work. I'm trying to make parallels between the use of mobile technology and the kind of physical experience of holding something and looking down. So this relationship with the sky above us and what was held in our hand is, is something I'm very interested in. Labyrinth upstairs, where you get like a feeling of, of, of like psychosis. It's pretty interesting to walk around there and like totally lose your, your sense of direction. When you enter the labyrinth, there's walls reacting to your presence, talking to you. There are voices coming from the ceiling, from the floor. It is about understanding what it feels like to hear voices, what it feels like to be uh, functioning in a different world than others experience. we started to challenge some of the ideas that have been around for generations and started to think a little bit more innovatively and I think more correctly about how we should help people in distress. It's a great way to express it and show how people think differently which is really interesting and it's a way to develop our understanding of it which is really good. It's good to sort of think about it in a more positive way, you know, it's not all about negatives. It's we can look at this in a, in a different way and this exhibition is really good at doing that. I think it's really important that we explore some of these issues and I think art is a really good medium to explore it.